Don't you think his position is admirably moral? Moral, perhaps, but extremely silly. Uh, <laughs> no man in his right mind could possibly contemplate such a proposal. <laughs> I'm contemplating it. <laughs> yes, of course, Prime Minister. Please, don't misunderstand me. It is quite right, of course, that you should contemplate all proposals that come from your government, but no sane man would ever support it. I'm supporting it. And quite right, <laughs> The problem is that the tax on tobacco is a major source of revenue for the government. It's also a major source of death from killer diseases. Mm, yes, indeed. But no definite causative link has ever been proved, has the it? Statistics, statistics are unarguable. Statistics, you can prove anything with statistics. Even the truth. <laughs> yeah. 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 Smoking-related diseases cost the NHS £165 million a year. Yes, but we've been into that. It has been shown that if those extra 100,000 people had lived to a ripe old age, they would have cost us even more in pensions and social security <laughs> than they did in medical treatment. So financially speaking, it's unquestionably better that they continue to die at about the present rate. <laughs> when cholera killed 30,000 people in 1833, we got the Public Health Act. When smog killed 2,500 people in 1952, we got the Clean Air Act. A commercial drug kills half a dozen people and we get it withdrawn from sale. Cigarettes kill a hundred thousand people a year. And what do we get? Four billion pounds a year. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand jobs in the tobacco industry, a flourishing cigarette export business helping our balance of trade, 250,000 jobs related to tobacco, news agents, packaging, transport. These figures are just guesses. No, they're governments to... they're facts. <laughs> So your statistics are facts, and my facts are merely statistics. Prime Minister, I'm on your side. I'm merely giving you some of the arguments that you will encounter. Thank you, Humphrey. I'm so glad to know that we shall have support such as yours. <laughs> but, Prime Minister, it will be pointed out that the tobacco companies are great sponsors of sport. Now, where would the BBC sports programmes be if cigarette companies couldn't advert... Uh, couldn't sponsor the events that they tell you? <laughs> Humphrey, we're talking about 100,000 deaths a year. Yes, but cigarette taxes pay for a third of the cost of the National Health Service. We're saving many more lives than we otherwise could because of those smokers who voluntarily lay down their lives for their friends. <laughs> <laughs> smokers are national benefactors. <laughs>